Hey guys, this is Becky. Welcome back to Mini Kit Mondays. This is the first layout for December 2018. I am following a sketch on this one. It is a sketch that was done by Jen Scow and it was for her Ready Sketch Go class volume 5. So I did purchase that. I've only gotten three three sketches in <laughs> this is the last one I did I did watch several of the videos though I just haven't finished all the sketches so that is a sketch I'm following obviously I don't have it in the corner because it's a paid for sketch this paper right here it is kind of looks like sand right right under the water you can see the the rippling water on it um, this is gonna be my background I am gonna go ahead and map my photo block with this um, coral reef paper that is in a blue and also kind of an aqua color it's just going to sit right there on the right hand side now like i said i'm following a sketch so this is something i wouldn't normally do not the photo block i would do that but the um stuff that is to come is things i wouldn't do i've also did the sketch or not the sketch this layout for two other challenges one of the challenges was to have a title that was five words or longer and another challenge was to use three or more photos so there you go I am going to use the title the Georgia Sea Turtle Center down there kind of toward the middle I am writing the name or not writing nope I am putting some alpha letters down there that say tsunami that's this um, sea turtles name I am going to talk about him in my journaling as well all right, so the left-hand side of the sketch does call for some journaling strips. I did not think I would just like the strips to be directly on that sandpaper. So I'm gonna kind of cut this uh, turquoise aqua color paper down to fit in between sea turtle and tsunami and tsunami in the bottom. I'm kind of gonna try to keep the margins the same as they are on the right hand side. You can see right here I have to go back and mark it with a pencil because I cut it too big. Even though I measured it with a ruler. Did you see me pull out the ruler? You saw me pull out the ruler, right? Yeah. Measured it wrong because of course I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down right here. This one I'm just not gonna measure. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it with my pencil to begin with and we'll just go from there so these are going to be stuck down right here now i do go ahead and write my journaling first i thought there is no way in the world i'm going to use strips so i just went ahead and typed all my journaling up well the journaling in and of itself only took up that first block on a piece of paper so i went ahead and changed the journaling to be double spaced so i could cut it out in strips and that way it would take up you know way more than that if you see here in a minute I'm gonna cut away and all these strips are gonna be down all those strips fit into that top block initially when I did not have it double spaced so I didn't know what to do with that bottom block if I would have just kept it in a plain white box format which is how I would have preferred but the sketch did call for strips so because I didn't know what to do with that bottom block, I did go ahead and cut them into strips so the journaling can be down there as well. Does that make any sense? I don't know. You never know. Okay, so for this layout, I am gonna pull out my big shot and I'm gonna pull out some dies. I did get this die set on Black Friday, I do believe. It does not have a name, but it has this these two little mermaids on them and then a bunch of seashells or three seashells and a seahorse so i went ahead and bought these because i wanted the seashells right and i had a 50 percent off coupon so there i am going to cut out the star shape in this cork now remember i pulled those cork stickers in they're cork sticker speech bubbles no uh -uh. So I'm going to go ahead and use the cork to cut out several of these star shapes. I think I cut out five of them. I also used some white cardstock to cut out some of the other shapes and also some of the um, starfish shapes as well. Here I'm going through the Maggie Holmes book seeing what I think I might want to use. This is a piece that I did put in my kit. The sticker I just stuck down right there I am not going to end up using. I will pull out several lab labels right here and I'm going to put them on this parchment paper. 
And then I'm going to pull out one more word sticker. It says yes to new adventures. And that one I am going to be putting on the cardstock. The, the stickers that I put on the cardstock, I am going to cut them out. I just put them on there so they'd have a little more oomph to them. The labels I'm going to use as a base for my clusters. So I didn't really care if they did not have cardstock behind them. It was okay for them to be thin. Right here are the bits that I cut out with a die set on the white cardstock. So a few of them I'm gonna go ahead and color with this navy blue that is by Kelly Perky. Yes, I did find it. In a previous video, I said, I lost my Kelly Perky ink. This is what I have. I have this basket, it has all my inks in it. I need a better solution. I'm gonna have to go to Michael's. I know they have those um, ink pad racks. I'm gonna have to get some of those. So then I am also going to be pulling out the Distress Oxide in peacock feathers and I'm going to go ahead and color the rest of the seashells in that right there I was just kind of matching it up against the water thinking you know trying to see if I like that color or not I don't have a whole lot of ink I mean I got ink but I don't think I have a whole lot of ink so that's probably the closest match I was going to get so right here I did pull out one of those speech bubbles I thought I was going to use it as kind of a base for some clustering right up there. I'm going to take that away and put that word sticker up there. Um, I don't do that just yet. Now the sketch did call for like kind of like a couple of those kind of clusters on the photos. I just used one of them. You can see right here I'm just kind of playing around where I might want my clusters to be. I love how those um, starfish came out on that cork. It's really nice. I really like how they came out. Now I will tell you in the end this is not going to be my favorite layout but I do have the entire story down there. <laughs> Here lately I've been waiting till later to write my story. Right now it's on there and you know I mean that's good but it's <laughs> it's still not my favorite kind but that's okay. I'm good with it. It's gonna stay. So I did like how this cluster was looking down here at the bottom, so I do go ahead and commit to it. I'm going to use another one of those labels up here at the top to kind of create the base for another cluster. I'm going to put one of the seashells sea that are in the peacock feathers, one of the navy blue ones, and also a cork starfish up there. And then... After I commit to that, I am using that art glitter glue. And someone asked me questions about it, which I did answer those questions. However, um, I'm still not having any problems. I actually, today when I was scrapbooking, I left the lid off longer than normal. And it still didn't clog up. So, if that's any help, it's still good. Okay, so down here, or up there, I'm sorry in those pictures I do use that word phrase that says yes to new adventures now this sea turtle his name is Tsunami he was getting ready to be released in three weeks from the time we saw him which was in October I think it was October 10th I think it was Kyron's birthday and so he was fixing to be released so I thought well that works say yes to new adventures because hello don't be a repeat offender there was another turtle that was there at the rescue that was a repeat offender. She had been in there, she got hit by a boat, and then the next time she got in, she was just sick with anemia. I do talk about that in my journaling as well. I just layered up one of the navy blue seashells and also one of those cork starfish. I kind of wanted the cork starfish to be positioned in a different way, but I had already uh, put it on the photo and it would not come back up. I'm gonna go ahead and put OCT for October 2018 on this cork bit right here. This was a speech bubble, bubble but I cut off the speech bubbly part. So it's just gonna kind of hold my date. I'm gonna sit that up above where it says Tsunami. Tsunami, I think I already said this is the name of that sea turtle. That initially was going to be the name of my page, but I changed my mind because in my, um, when I typed up my journaling, I had two paragraphs. I had one talking about when we went to the sea turtle museum. And then I had another, the next paragraph I was specifically talking about tsunami. This was my favorite turtle there other than the Terrapins. 
<laughs> this was my favorite sea turtle there. I don't know. He was just so pretty. And these are some really good photos. I really like this one. There was another one that was missing a flipper. She also got hit by a boat and the propeller cut off her front flipper. So that kind of sucked for her. This guy just has like a scar on his, the back of his shell. He has all his limbs. All right. So these are those gems. These are one of the first gems I bought or first enamel type bits, the first finishing touches that I bought when I started scrapbooking. I'm going to scatter those around the page. I do use the green, the blue, and also kind of that orangey tan color. I thought the orangey tan color fit in well with the um, sand. It kind of picks up the color in which it's sitting on. So like I sit it on white, it looks a little more orangey. I sit it on the sand color, it looks a little more sandy. So there you go. After I do that, I don't do any splatters. Now, like I said, this isn't my favorite, but I do like it. I do like, I do, I do like it. It's just not my favorite, but I am very happy to have this story down. And I talk about the turtles in here. There's information about Tiffany and Chiron visiting. So that was good, right? All right, guys, after I put those gems down, I don't do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Shoot, guys, I almost forgot. I am such an idiot. <laughs> Don't forget to go visit Dolly, Kathy, Tracy, Daisy, and JoJo for their mini kit monies. I am so sorry, girls. I just, bleh, you know, you know me, right? You've met me before. Well, online.